Hi, this is Jen Lasser with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit multiple metrics at once across a set of data requests in Report Builder. So let's say you have a, a dashboard that you've built and you've gotten to the end, you've built out this, this great view for your business users, and then you realize you want to change one of the metrics that you've used throughout a set of requests to something else. Um, for example, we have visits kind of layered throughout different views here, and we want to change that to unique visitors. So with the, the fall release, we've introduced the ability to edit metrics across requests all at once. So let me walk you through how to do that. Let's say you have a set of requests in here that have visits included in them, and even some that don't. So there's two ways you can edit multiple metrics. You can highlight all of the requests and even some that don't if you want to just select all. First way is you can right click edit requests. So we've had the options to edit across uh, a set of requests, report suites, segments, and date ranges and granularity or groups of any of those options um, to date. So those are things we currently offer. The new feature that we're adding is the ability to now edit the metric. So if you select edit metric You'll get a pop-up modal here, and there's three actions that you can take. You can either add a metric, replace a metric, or remove a metric. So I'll first demonstrate replacing a metric to go along with the use case here of wanting to switch from visits to unique visitors. So the first option you have to click is what you want to replace. It's going to take a, a unique list of all the metrics that have been selected in the requests. So visits is what we want to replace and you can do a one-to-one -one replace. So what do you want to put in instead of visits? And we want to do unique visitors. Um, we require that it is a one-to-one -one replace because we're going to swap in this new metric in the exact same spot that visits was before. Um, so we'll go ahead and click OK. So clicking OK will render all of the data requests in offline mode. Uh, meaning they're, they're just placeholders for now. Um, to run those requests, you just simply need to right click and click refresh and click OK. So while those run, notice that the request for products, um, the one that's got the zeros in it right now, it hasn't changed. It still shows orders. That's because we will skip over any requests that don't have the metric that you wanted to, to swap out. So we'll let this just finish here. So now notice that all of the requests have unique visitors in them instead of visits. And if we go back to our dashboard tab, you'll see that everything was inherited here as well. We've got unique visitors here in our devices and in our pie charts as well. So that's one way you can edit metrics across multiple requests. Um, you can also do two other actions, which are add and remove. So let's say we wanted to add another metric to our device type table here. Um, as well as this device's table as well. So we can edit multiple and go here for metrics. So when you do add metrics, you'll see a little note. Um, this is just letting you know that when you add metrics, you could impact the footprint that a data request takes up. So in the case of, of this table here, it may run into the table on the right. And in ca case of the table on the right, it may overwrite the formula we have here as well. So I'm going to just do this one just as an example. And let's say we want to add um, bounces to this request. So notice now that this request is taking up one more additional column. Um, so that, that's something to think about as you add in metrics. Always make sure to add in the proper spacing between the requests before you go ahead and, and bring in more metrics. Uh, the last way that you can edit metrics is to remove. So if you want to take out metrics across a set of requests, you can simply come in here 
Again, we'll list out all the metrics that are available to remove. We'll click Bounces and we'll click OK. So now we're, we're back to where we started. So right-click menu is one way to edit multiple metrics. You also have the option to go to Add-ins, Manage. From the Manage window, if you select All and choose Edit Multiple, you also have the options available to you in here as well. So we will group the, the, the requests in the list based on what you're trying to edit. So let's say you try to edit the granularity. We'll go ahead and group them up based on the granularity they have today. And then you just simply have to go edit each group individually um, since each one has different starting parameters. The same goes for the new metric option. When you select metric here, we'll group them up by the metrics that they have within them. And then you'll just simply need to go and select each group and make the changes that you'd like. So I hope you guys find this, this new um, edit metric feature helpful and it saves you a lot of time.